All right, is everyone ready? It's the review you've all been waiting for. It's Ewoks issue number four from November of 1985. I know what you've all been thinking deep down. Should I invest in Ewoks issue four? Is it worth it? Well, let's find out. The cover promises big excitement and environmentalism. Wicket, we're saved by these rocks. Uh, I'm afraid, Tebow, they're not rocks. That's right. We're going to feed the wildlife Ewoks. It isn't that good for the planet, the forest moon of Endor, wherever these, these horrible things are. The Valley of Evil, who would win in a battle to the death? Ewoks or Gungans? We're not going to find out in this issue, sadly. I think, I think I'm just going to have to make up that book all by myself. But what we do get is Ewoks wandering on this journey. And look, they come across this thing. And forget what you, it doesn't matter which Ewok this is. The one who's about to get eaten, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, that's because you're an idiot and you haven't seen Planet of the Apes. If you see that, you don't go forward because it's the Forbidden Zone and you'll probably be attacked by mutants or apes or something bad. It's not good. It doesn't look good. Ewoks aren't very smart. Okay. Seriously, though. This is a children's comic. It's for kids. And if you have kids and your kids want to read Ewoks, just return your kids and get some new ones because they clearly have bad taste. It's a terrible comic book. Page three and not a single Ewok has died. It's unfortunate. So the Ewoks enter this stupid forbidden zone. They're attacked by lizard people. I mean, lizard people in general are pretty cool, so it takes some talent, I think, to ruin lizard people, but the creators of Ewoks found a way. The lizard people toss them into a cave, and who do they meet? Another Ewok, whose name is Grok. And they're like, well, he's an Ewok. He's got to be good. But look at him. He's got an eye patch. He's clearly not good. He's bad, and his name is Grok, so Grok is bad. Grok was, like, I guess, what, exiled from the Ewok village for extortion or just being evil, one or the other, I don't know. Chief Chirpa spoke, spoke of you with no honor. I pity the fool that Chief Chirpa speaks of with no honor. Enough screwing around. This is supposed to be a serious comic book review and critical analysis of Ewoks issue number four. The coloring is, is nice. George Russo does a, does a good job coloring it. And the writing is legible. So Grace did a good job lettering. I can, I can read the things that I don't want to read, but I can read them if I did want to read them, which I don't. Tom DeFalco does an amazing job editing. We're so close to killing off these Ewoks. It's like the Ewok version of Van Damme's classic hit, Hard Target, Survival of the Fittest. Prepare for the hunt, my Ewok friends. The Ewoks are the hunted. Wouldn't the Ewoks be better if they had mullets and could jump over cars like Van Damme? But they don't. They suck. They're Ewoks. Seriously, though, my favorite part of this issue is the part when Snake Eyes breaks into the Cobra Fortress and kills everyone. He doesn't even have to say anything because he's Snake Eyes and he's super badass. That's also the wrong comic book. Back to Ewoks. Look, they're being hunted by the lizard people. You want sport, do you? What, the lizard people are outsmarted by Ewoks? Man, the lizard people must be really stupid. And check this out. They're going to play ball with them by hitting burr, burr berries or, I'm sorry, burr balls. Burr balls into the lizard people. Isn't that wacky and funny? Look, they've almost defeated the lizard people. They've almost escaped. But, as you may have guessed from the cover, they're going to enter a swamp with a terrible monster that's going to try to eat them. Can the Ewoks outsmart this stupid monster? As it turns out, yes. Everything on planet Endor must be really freaking dumb. And this is the part that really gets me. I'm, I'm so angry. I'm going to mail George Lucas a bag of poop for this one. Instead of feeding this swamp monster a nice 
protein rich meal of Ewoks, they they throw it a bee's nest or something. That's the bee's home. The bees live there. So not only have you destroyed the bee's home, and bees are very precious, we need to keep our bees, but you also have fed this swamp monster an unbalanced meal, and you've befriended one of the stupid lizard people in the process, who will later repay the favor by saving the stupid Ewoks. There's only one way to write this comic book wrong. Don't try this at home, kids. This panel right here, I think if we could change this panel, we could make issue four of Ewoks a whole lot better. You ready? Don't try this at home, but I think, I think this should, this should do a good job. Let's see. We're gonna have a spear or a pipe sticking through the back. It's gonna come out the front. Put some, put some ink in there, some, some blood. really changes the whole vibe of the comic book, doesn't it? It's also increased the value. This is the way it should have ended. There we go. Blood splattering everywhere. And it's gonna go, oh no! Pain! Tebow! There we go. Now, I think I can heartily recommend Ewoks issue number four. We'll just assume that's the last panel. It ends there. Hey look, the Ewoks even have their own mailbox. We should mail them Jar Jar's severed head. Check this out. In the back cover, we've got lightning strikes in September, an ad for Jason the Wheeled Warriors. I love Jason the Wheeled Warriors. I do not love Ewoks at all. In fact, I hate them. <laughs> like you couldn't figure that out by now. Issue number four is terrible, but you already knew it's terrible. You already know it's terrible, but now you're sure it's terrible, except for the part where Tebow gets impaled. That part's pretty good. Otherwise, this is awful, and just avoid it. Read something else. Like this. You don't even need to read G.I. Joe 21, because there's no words. Except for the ads. They don't count, though. Storm Shadow. I'd pay good money to see a comic book where he takes out the Ewoks. <laughs> like, that's totally a thing Storm Shadow would do, too.